Peace. Peace, peace. Uh, I promise I won't be too long. Pieces. I promise I won't be too long, y'all. It's the part that I actually um forgot to speak about last night. I mentioned it, but I forgot to reiterate it <laughs> into the conversation last night. Until I got the phone, I realized it. But it was for a good reason. Because... I actually got a little bit more to show with it. And yeah, y'all gonna hear Jen. She might jump over here. Um, it's just me and her right now. Peace, pieces. What's good? But yeah, y'all remember when we was uh, talking about if um, y'all don't. It's on the last live. Last night I had mentioned about the hurricane. Also, dealing with this feminine energy. So, um, I just want to dive into that right quick with y'all. <clears throat> so, um, I know we've had conversations about, um, hurricanes and Especially talk about them being made, uh, created, you know, through mankind or, you know, the heart machine as they speak about. So, a lot of people, or a lot of us have speculated that, you know, a lot of these hurricanes are not real. You know, that someone has created them. Pushing the agenda in such a way. Um, in some extent, I do believe that. Um, but I truly feel like, you know, they are a natural thing that takes place here. Pieces. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you finally got on here with me. Um. I believe, you know, I feel like, you know, there it's a natural thing that happens, especially when it's dealing with the uprooting um, of your energy or the overall energy here in this plane. So it's like, you know, the clean up woman type of energy, right? <laughs> so it, it's going to happen. And it really happens a lot around the hotter times, you know, during the summer, right? So, during the summer, you know, a lot of things are being projected at so many times. The energy is rising to its peak during that time. So, anytime the energy actually rises, okay, um, it's going to uproot a lot of origins of things. A lot of uh, truth is going to also be displayed, but it's also going to get rid of a lot of things that we no longer need, okay? And so, you know, these hurricanes, they go through major cities and they tear them up, okay? And it's really all based off of the path of the energy since the energy falls and falls. Yeah, since the energy falls and falls, it's going to rise. And every time it gets to that, that point, okay, the highest point of what is had rise to or what is rising to, it's going to be... um like a vortex of energy that's going to take place. It's going to start uprooting stuff. Um, it's going to start bringing, you know, taking things out of place, um, destroying things in such a sense as well. But we know with destruction, it comes reconstruction. So, right, sis, the energy is definitely going to fall in the fall. So it has to go as um, planned, when, especially when it's at its highest peak. Peace, bro. What's good with you? I feel you with the hurricanes, whether natural or government interference. It's still inevitable. Inevitable is my opinion. The timing is in the events occurring. Yep. Yep. Because a lot of these um events occur 
especially the chaotic ones. Um, and especially a lot of truth is being displayed. Um, when we're at our highest peak, you start to see a lot of stuff happening. So of course, yeah, the timing is definitely, um, on point. Pieces. What's good? What's good? Y'all, if y'all don't mind, please, um, sharing the live for me. Um, yeah, it's always going to be a balance in life. Um, oh it's, it's God. just what it is. There's highs and lows. Um, even like, um, years ago, y'all remember when I, um, showed the information about how, um, when we take like a oh, lie detector test you, or you lie, mama? we're, um, monitoring, mama, they're monitoring our lie, blood mama? pressure. You do you lie? Yes, baby, I am. <laughs> and you see how the frequency um, on those devices um, show up. There's highs and lows, okay? Highs can show when the truth is not being displayed. It means you're lying, okay? So, of course, when the energy rises to its highest peak, a lot of truth is going to be put out, a lot of exposure, okay? Not just with the whole, um, the overall existence, but just even I'm in the lane. the collar back. But um, my bad, y'all. But, yeah, it's going to always be a balance in life. So, you know, you're going to have those ups and downs, some highs and lows. So, with this hurricane, you know, um, specifically, um, it's a high, this, you know, that comes when the energy is at its highest peak. So, it's, it's really just um, bursting, okay, with this energy, this flow, this wind that takes place, okay, so, um, it's, it's the clean up woman energy, all right, so, of course, with the breakdown of the word hurricane, um, if you break it down, you have to break it down, you know, in parts, and it's a, it's a, um, I shared it on my page, but they broke it down on that, uh, image that picture that I showed about the hurricane with the information on it they broke it down a different way too um, um broke it down a certain way and I think I broke it down the same way they did too um so and I just got a little bit more into it and more understanding of the energy um those who actually have you know been in the um the sessions I was doing with the women we actually talked about this hurricane and the vortex um, and how they are similar, you know, dealing with self and dealing with the experience. So some of this information I'm going to, you know, repeat again for those who actually um, was in that session, that lecture when I was doing those classes for the women. But um, her, um, which is the H-U-R part, okay, um, is also her in origin. E, I mean, H-E-R, her, as in feminine energy, right? But the word her, um, is actually, it actually means higher. Okay. Higher means, I mean, higher as in H I R E. Okay. When you're like, you're about to hire or employ someone. Okay. Or something. Okay. Um, even with that word employ, it deals with to implicate. All right. Or attach to. Also entangle. So, we already know that the hurricane is going around in a circle, right? That's the cycle. And when it goes around in the circle, okay, it's going to entangle things. It's going to have things attached to it, even with yourself, okay? Your energy, okay, is in a circle of motion, okay? It, it, it revolves around you in such a way. So, anytime you begin... To project with your mind, right? Which is moving the force of your energy. 
you implicate things, okay? You have things attached to you, all right? You entangle things in your web, in your energy, okay? And <clears throat> that's just, you know, through the force of your energy being, you know, moving forward, okay? So that her part is the higher, the things that you're going to employ, implicate, or attach to self, okay? Or entangle within yourself, okay? So you got to be careful with that type of energy. You got to be careful with the things that you are going to attach yourself to. Okay. We don't never want to be attached to something that's going to make us look a certain way. Okay. Um, that's going to implicate us in a bad way. Okay. Or a low vibrational way. Okay. So that her part is going to take place. Okay. Also with hurricane, and the word is the R-I, which is the re, okay? That re deals with a repeti repetition, okay? It's repetition. It also is re, okay, which is R-E, okay? And we know anything or any word that starts with R-E means again, okay? That means you're going to start over, okay? It's like, it's, it's a reset, all right? So this is the cycle that we go through in life, all right? That reoccurrence of, um, of an action or event, all right, that we implicate, all right, or attach ourselves to, all right? The cane dealing with hurricane at the end, okay? Of course, it could be sugar cane, you know. Everybody loves the sugar, okay? But even sugar can be, um, can be an allusion to salt, okay? <laughs> Recycling, repeats, yes, life repeats itself, okay? And I got some pictures to show y'all, um, with this whole hurricane thing, too. Um, some of them I have showed before. But I got a major one last night that I shared with one of my sisters. And I'm like, I cannot believe I'm seeing this. But, hey, it makes so much sense, especially when it comes to self, okay? Um, so that cane, you know, it could be so sugary. You know, it could be so sweet, but it could also be salty, okay? Um, but it also deals with the word read, which is R-E-E-D, okay? All right, read is also a type of plant. Okay, but it is also an origin. The word is also um, originated dealing with um, container, okay, or vessel. Also, the grass growing on the margins of streams. So this cane at the inner end of hurricane, okay, is everything that you contain, okay, in your vessel, all right? Yep, they do look the same <laughs> far away. <laughs> okay, you never know what you go eat it till you eat it. <laughs> and that's hey, that's that's even a cycle within itself, right? So but that cane at the end of hurricane, it's going to be your container, everything that you contain um in your vessel, your vessel, right? So that's also symbolic to things that you plant, okay? Remember to implicate Okay, implicate, I mean, implicate, um, or things that are attached to are going to be a part of your seeds, okay? And they're going to be that repeats, as some of y'all were saying, the reset, the recycling of your cells, all right? And you contain these cells, this energy, okay, in your vessel, and it becomes to be grass growing, which is your seeds growing, okay? Which is basically becoming your reality. What you have set your mind to, your energy to, um, your body to, okay? And it becomes your reality, okay? So this hurricane, this cycle, okay, is also um, symbolic to whirlpool, okay? It is going to happen, okay? Okay? We also know with that whirlpool, okay, 
you have a symbolic Im image, which I just found out last night, um, which is the infinite symbol. Okay, the infinity symbol. All right, we pulled it up last night in the live dealing with the cards. Okay, and it was upside down. Okay, which also makes sense too with this energy in this whirlpool, you know, the cycle, recycling of the energy. Okay, resetting it, uh, regrouping it, um, regenerating it. Okay, yep, I pulled that last night. All right, so it's all about, you know, the shift, the major shift that is taking place in our body. Okay, also in our body, our blood has a cycle okay our blood has a cycle and the cycle is you know deals with the circulation of our system okay i'm gonna see if i can still pull these pictures up i haven't did them in a while here on facebook but you know okay this is a hurricane look at the cycle the circle of it Okay, everything that's in this experience is going to be symbolic. Everything is symbols. Okay, it's just how we project this thing. There are several hurricanes coming. Yeah, it's a lot coming too. Yeah, it is still coming. Mm hmm. About to hit our yeah, coming our way. All right, but hey, yep, it's strongest in the middle. It's always strongest in the middle, and they call the middle the eye of the um the eye of the storm. <laughs> we know that eye of the storm is going to deal with your first eye, okay? Um, the things that you set in life, okay? That's going to become your reality. Teeth, blood, etc. Yes, your body's feel it, and our yeah, we feel it, yeah. We're going to feel it. We feel the shift even through when this whole experience is plain is going through something, you know, in its natural state. We're going to feel it too. Yep, and the teeth and the blood, etc. Okay? But it is definitely a cycle that we go through. Ears, feet, eyes. Yes. Yes, you know, the feet, the feet also deals with the soul because, you know, the soul on the bottom of your feet. <laughs> OK, and we could dig a little deep in that, too, just a little bit, you know, because that soul is it's what keeps you grounded. OK, especially pertaining to the suit. All right. And your ears and eyes are definitely. You know, portals to your reality, what you take in and what you put out. It's still a cycle. All right. A circulation that takes place within all of us. Um, let me go to this next picture right quick. Water. Water, water, water. <laughs> Every time hurricane take place, it's in the water. It starts in the water. Update time. Yes, it's the major update. Okay. Major update. Peace, peace, bro. <laughs> no, girl. Hold on, y'all. Let me lock my top lock. No, you're not going out the door. Where did you think you're going? No. Now, you can't go anyway. But yeah, that hurricane starts in the water. Come sit right here with me. The hurricane starts in the water, and even with that water, we know that that is also um, symbolic to the feminine energy. Yeah, you see that water? You can't do that. Don't be doing my girl like the girl. She's trying to. She's trying to escape. She can't go outside. You know? She be trying to go. I had to put the top lock on. You need you don't need one of them. Especially when these kids not open doors. You don't want to look up and they outside. 
And you don't know. Now, you have to go find them. Put that top lock on. Because <laughs> this one definitely know how to go outside. And we'll open the door for anybody. So, yeah, you got to clank, clank on them, honey. You got to be two steps ahead of them. <laughs> Remember, they, they geniuses. They, they smart. Okay? They have no form, no fear, nothing. So, they just go. Uh-oh, come here. Stand up. You can't, you can't stand right there. You're going to make the thing fall. But, um... Yeah, see, every this hur these hurricanes, they start in the water. You know, symbolic to the woman, the feminine energy uh, rising, okay? Because the feminine energy is in the root, all right? It's the root, so it's going to rise, okay? Peace, sis. I ain't seen you in a minute. Come here, stop. Okay, I'm about to go take you my over there. My nana. You know, to the lady over there. Across the hall. I want to get in my car. Okay, well. Go over there in your car, and then I call Nana in a minute. When I get off, okay? Okay. <laughs> yes. I have 10 grandchildren, I know. Okay. Peace, sis. What's going on okay. with you? What is going on with you? Girl, yeah, she she be doing so much. Yeah, I have to kind of <laughs> try to deflect her so way so she could go the other route. Because she be trying to do stuff when I'm not paying attention. And as all kids do, when you're not watching, they be they be doing stuff you don't even know they be doing. The air cycles just like the water. Yeah, the air cycles is the same just like the water. Um, Hell, the air... Um, the sky has water. It's water, you know. It, it, it definitely has water. It's it's water. I don't miss all the lies. Laughing out loud, happy. I caught this one. You good? I be going live sometimes late, and um, I haven't really just been going too much lately too because I just been busy. <laughs> Trying to get this business, you know, going and doing these events. Yeah. Love the baby. She's a sweetheart. She is a sweetheart, though. She is. My honey. First, she's sweet. Okay. And then she's sour. Always. 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 I don't know what to do sometimes. You know? I'm to test the energy out. Trying to fill the energy out to see which one I'm going to get. Why? Not the sour. She's definitely a sour patch kid. Yeah. Trust me, she is. Y'all, mm, she is. Okay, the people at the hospital was, they wanted to complain about my baby. I know they did. But, they said it in a nice way. Ooh, girl, you got your hands full. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. And this was a white lady. <laughs> Talking about, you know, I got my hands full. Ooh. Jen, what is you trying to do? Is you trying to get in the camera? Okay, well, sit right here. I'll put you in the camera. Come this way, and I'll put you. you I know. I need you over there. Okay. You're too close. Come sit right here. Why? She got to be in the live. She says she is my co-host today. Pieces. <laughs> She's like, not today. You're not going live without me today. Okay? You did the last night, honey. You know, sis, she be on that. She ain't be doing the utmost. I see you. But, um, but yeah, it starts in the water. You only say, hey. Hey. And you know, with that pressure... Um, it's with air pressure, the water pressure, all of that, you know, it's also symbolic to this too. All of these are symbol uh symbolic to the same thing. Um they just different images like, you know, with the whole Hello. Jesus, you know, scenario. Thank you, sis. Yeah, she has a lot to say. Always. What are you trying to show us now? Oh, She's showing y'all her picture she drew of us. 
I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me, I'm going to have to go in the line. She couldn't bet him. You know, she, you know. <laughs> she getting better, though. You know, she doing her thing. You know. She starting to realize the head, the body, you know. She got us looking like sticks. All right. <laughs> With the, uh, what's that? <laughs> Not the Adams family, but, um, what is it? The one, the guy with the, uh, what's his, you don't know his name. The one with the green hair. Oh, I can't. I can't oh, my God. I can't think of his name, y'all. <laughs> It'll come to me, though. Um, <laughs> yeah. You see, I think to you know? Okay. Yes, um, but she got us, she got us down, she got us down pat. But also, yeah, thank you. <laughs> also, with the hurricane and stuff like that, that energy also deals with, you know, it's also, um, symbolic to this, uh, the hurt, the vortex, okay, that takes place in our energy. Yes, yeah, she has some seagulls, okay, definitely does. I used to do them a couple uh years back. <laughs> yeah, she is, Yanni, where she wanna be. <laughs> I take it every chance I get. Yeah, yeah seagull magic. I, I definitely used to be into that, that a couple years back. I call you wire. You did? Yeah. Okay. Hold up. Let me see my paper right quick. Um the vortex um origin of that word deals with to turn bend it also has whirlpool in it um or world pool um it's a eating mass a adding mass also whirlwind and it's in circular circular motion okay all right it's the same thing dealing with our energy all right this takes place inside Okay, and the hurricanes, okay, are projections of this vortex energy that takes place also dealing with that energy inside. It plays outside, okay, which is why they call it the hurricane, okay. That's the rising of the feminine energy, okay, going through a cycle. Pieces, yeah, I'm on him this live. I had to jump in right quick. You, you got done way before I thought you were. But I'm gonna call you soon, definitely. Um, when I gotta get off this line. But yeah, so you know this vortex energy. Um, yep, mixing in. Mama. All right, Mama. It's definitely Mama. mixing in. What, Mama. baby? What you got? What you got? What's that? Oh, she drew me, y'all. Look. Let me see if y'all can see it. <laughs> <laughs> you drew me much bigger this time. I did. You're Look at my head. I ain't got no hair. I ain't got no hands. Oh, yeah, I do. Okay, I just, I'm bald headed. No. I got braids. Yeah, you got braids. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because of my head. She didn't give me no hair. She said I got braids, though. But, uh, so it's, you know, it's the rising of the feminine energy every time, especially in the summer. You know, we get close to the fall. Peace! What's good, bro? Okay, or upon the tail. I got my head upon the tail. Okay. <laughs> oh, you said I know she laughing. Yeah, she laughing. She don't even know what the hell I'm laughing at, but yeah, she laughing. <laughs> Balance of energy. It's, yeah, it's bound to happen. It is bound to happen. You know? It, it's definitely bound to happen. Let my seed. Let my seed. See what? Yeah. Oh, see you? Uh-huh. I had to go my co-host back. No. So, I this vortex deal with it. Alright, that's inside. Um, so within, so without. Okay? Yeah, it is a storm brewing. They coming this way. Okay? Um, 
it's definitely coming that way. I know a lot of people say that, you know, even with, like, you know, the storms. That's why a lot of people have speculated. Wait a minute, baby. A lot of people have speculated that, you know, a lot of these storms are man-made because they go the same routes dealing with the slave boats, right? Or our ancestors taking that route to, you know, being brought over here, right? To be enslaved, okay? Well, understanding the enslavement part is dealing with your mind. So this is the flow of the energy, okay? Everything has its course. So it takes a certain route every time, okay? It's the same cycle, okay? Sometimes it might have a different starting point, but it still goes through those cycles, okay? Say I've been good, but now it's starting to get to me a little. Don't let it get to you. Okay, don't let it get to you. Okay? Because it's going to always be something coming right after that. You can't let it get to you. Yes, I'm glad you out here, bro. Can't be all man-made. It can't be all man-made. Okay? Man-made ain't got shit on us. Okay? It ain't got shit on us. <laughs> Okay? It ain't got shit on us. Okay? Like Denzel said. But we gonna say it in mankind way. Ain't got shit on energy. Okay? It can't do nothing. It can't... We can, um, it cannot... Uh, what's the word? I don't want to say reciprocate, but it's not that... Uh, it can... What is it? Uh, what is the word? It can... Create a false narrative, okay? But hold up, I'm trying not to, but damn, it can rain every day. Yeah, the, through these storms, though, there's gonna always be sunny days, okay? There's always gonna be sunshine. You know, we go through our storms. Sometimes we can't see it because the storms be so thick. Even like with these hurricanes, you know, we don't know. We can't really predict, you know, how it's going to go, how it's going to turn out. But we know through it all, um, there's going to be sunny days. It's going to always be something to look forward to. Cannot return void. Right. Re um, it's a word I'm trying to say, but I can't. I'm just going to let it be with it. But. Mankind can only create a false narrative um, when it comes to this these uh, this weather. You know what I'm saying? They can only create a false narrative to generate the energy. All right? That's just like manipulation, what we were talking about last night. Stop. I need my paper. I give you a piece, but I need this. All right? Um, I was talking about the blood flow, uh, and, and it, our blood, how it goes in a circular motion. This is what I'm saying with the so within, so without, okay? It's a reason why we've been so deep in our feminine energy and our roots, okay, by, um, era. All right? And this low vibrational energy in a sense, because it's things that we're weaving out, um, Things that we actually are going through, all right, that we got to pull from this energy, all right, to rise up out of it, okay? So, with these cells, I mean, with the blood, the blood flow, all right, it goes in a circular motion, too, okay? All right. Our blood goes through it. We take in, we take out. We bring, we breathe in, we breathe out. All right. All right. It's always going to be cells regenerating, and it's always going to be a cycle. Okay. That's why we are so the bloodstream. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. The stream. It's, a, it's stream. 
is also, you know, even something to look at, okay? Because we were just talking about Stream just a minute ago, dealing with the cane um, on the end of Hurricane, and how that is the grass growing on the margins of the streams, okay? It's your container, your vessel, what you contain in, okay? It's what you're going to release out, what you're going to grow. Moves with the air, yes, what you're going to blow, okay? All right. So, I got to looking at that a little bit more. When I was looking at this <laughs> picture here, specifically, uh, specifically, I kept looking and looking and start seeing a symbol, of course, um, which is the symbol I was just talking about just a minute ago. All right. Which is the symbol I, I was, was talking about just a minute ago. Um, let me share this one first before I show the overall. Mama. Okay. Mama, 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 mama. Ah, 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 ah. Ooh, I love it. I got me bald head. He got me bald head? No, you got me. I got braids. Oh, okay, yeah. You put my braids on there. I like that. Me, me. And, oh, this is cute. Hey, uh, me. Is you? Yeah. I love this. Got your ponytails. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I got my arms. Yeah, you got your arms. I love it. I love it. Yeah. 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 You okay. Wanna you, say got... I buy you? you want me to show everybody? Yes. <laughs> Hold up. I don't know if they can see this. I might have to. Uh, y'all can see her. She said this herself, y'all. Her two ponytails and her body. Okay, with her arms. <laughs> she looked like the onk. Um, <laughs> she drew me again. Okay. She got her eyes all big and stuff. Okay, and then with the smile. <laughs> Huh? Where my hair What are you talking about? Where my hair yet? Where you gonna hang it at? Yeah. Put it on the refrigerator. You wanna put it on the refrigerator? Yeah. Okay, we'll go put it on the refrigerator with a magnet. Uh, uh, huh? Go put it on the refrigerator. Okay. I go put it okay. So I kept seeing this um the symbol right here. Yeah. The more and more I kept looking at the flow, um, the blood flow, I kept looking at it and I kept looking at the blood, blood flow and how it was actually going into a circular motion, how it actually looks, okay, um, in this image, okay. So I started putting things two and two together. I just started putting things together. And this is exactly, you know, confirmed it for me last night. Um, I had showed shaders already. But I was just as shocked. Oh, yeah. And the heart is in the middle. The strongest point, right? The heart is what we pump. We pump. Where everything is pumped from. Same thing um, with the land. Okay. It has a heart. There's a heart. Okay. In the land. Okay, it's a heart here in this plane. And it pumps. Okay? You are a part of this heart. Okay? All existence is. It's what keeps life going. Okay? The more we regenerate, recycle, okay? Um, reset, okay? Regroup, okay? Um, redevelop, um, cells or, you know, the blood flow, okay? Dealing with the string, all right? Then we got the lungs at the top, all right? That goes dealing with the air again, okay? What you breathe in and what you, the intake and your outtake, okay? Yes, the heart and mind connection. The heart and mind is definitely connected in one unison. They're actually, to me, um, they're actually, to me, um, what you call reflections of each other. Alright? 
All right, they both have two sides. Okay. Left and the right. So they're like some, they're reflections to me of each other. Um, really, you know, dealing with the as above so um as above so below. Okay. All right. Breath of life. Yes. Yes. Let me take this off here. Yes. The breath of life. Okay. Would you say the mind regulates the heart? Yes. The heart regulates the mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It does. It definitely does. Mm-hmm. Because if the heart is out, if your heart is out, you know, it's no longer pumping, okay, of course that mind is still, you know, um, it's still active. But it cannot regenerate itself, okay? It cannot go no farther without the flow of the energy, okay? The pumping of the heart, okay? Is definitely what gives us um, the flow that we need to keep going, um, to keep, you know, generating in this existence. So, yeah, I would say that the heart regulates the mind. All right. That's why it's important to heal so it can flow correctly. Exactly. Exactly like unison, mine is all. That's a fact, sis. That is a fact. I know when um when a couple years back, uh, I was having pressure in my heart, and I was kind of you know indecisive about it because I didn't know what the heck was going on at first, and you know my mind, you know it was ascending, but my heart, you know I was having so much pressure in my heart you know you know and i couldn't understand it if i'm ascending in my mind all right because you think if you're ascending in your mind that it's going to triple down to everything which is somewhat true okay but you have to have that pump you have to have that force of energy all right to push those narratives that ascension through all right universe is mental like, we all are putting it together. Yeah, we all are putting it together as we speak. As we speak. So, when I realized that, you know, something was going on with my, my heart, it wasn't physical, in a sense. Okay? <laughs> yes, them blockages, they make you sick. They make you sick. You right. You right. It, it made me realize it was something that I had to really uproot. I had to let go of. I had to set up some boundaries in a sense because, you know, stress and all of that, you know, it it really plays a big part, you know, in our heart. Okay? And if that, if your, your heart is like damaged or weakened, okay, it, it can, it, it'll trickle down. Through your whole body. Everything is going to flow through your body. Okay. But the mind and the heart. Like Sis said. Has to be in unison. Okay. It has to be. You know. So my heart wasn't at that time. Yep. You'll be out of breath. I know I couldn't even. Really. I feel like I wasn't even breathing right. I found out what the issue was. I got rid of that issue. That mindset. Of wanting to help um, and trying to be, you know, in the middle to be peacemaker all the damn time. You know, it was causing distraction. It was causing stress. It was causing pressure. Um, it was causing my course of breathing, okay? My flow of energy to be off course, okay? Which was giving me the pain in my heart. And once I got rid of that and, and thought, you know, the other things that I had to um, let go of and I just don't need to be doing because it's my peace that means everything yep it was draining the shit out of me okay draining my polar well dry and 
you know, I had to, you know, I had to let that go, you know, and allow people to, to do their own thing, you know, and handles my situations when it comes with situations, when it comes to me, totally different. So it don't disturb me. Okay. All right. So once I got that, I'm I'm in the blank. Uh, once um, once I got that under control, I've been better ever since. I have not had no pain in my heart. Okay. No pressure. You know, Okay, I thought I had to go to the hospital, and I thought something was really going on, you know, like. Okay, I'm here. Y'all can see me? Yep, boundaries are healthy. They are definitely healthy. Um, you have to have those boundaries. Um, you just can't let energy just, you know, run all over you, okay? You really can't. Because it, you know, it becomes to be an, an attached energy. It can drain you, like Sis was saying, you know. Yep, that's healing. I had to, yeah, I had to deal with some healing too. You know, so it's a must to have boundaries on your heart, okay? And also that mind, okay? Which is pretty much you just being aware of what you're not going to allow, okay? When it comes to your peace, because your peace is going to be your balance. It's going to be your wholeness. Okay. It's going to be your focus point. <laughs> so, yeah, don't let them, don't let that down break. Yeah, you can't let it break. You cannot let it break. Once you get that solid um, foundation of boundaries, mm -mm, don't go back on your word. You know, don't let it break. Don't let it make it. Make it easy for you to slip back into those situations uh, again. Okay. No. Why are we here? Why? Why? Why you got my makeup? Y'all, somebody come and get their niece. Okay, y'all come and get your niece. So, why you got my makeup? You're not makeup. Okay, so why you got my makeup? I did my makeup. I know you doing makeup. Why are you doing your makeup? I did. You're not mess up my makeup. I'm telling you. I'm gonna take your lunch money. <laughs> the body no. smoke. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Or your your no. I, I don't go in my. Don't you go in there. What? Don't you go in there. I what good is a lock if you leave the door open? Exactly. Okay. Okay, why do my makeup? You can't let those people just be coming in and out. You know, like when we was younger, you know, they, the, uh, your parents would tell you, even now, today, we tell our kids, stop running in and out of the house. Shit. Okay? Really? Uh uh. You're just letting too much in and letting too much out. Okay? We're trying to preserve some of this great energy, you know, prana up in here in this home. You can't just keep coming in and out, coming in and out. Okay? you letting out my cool out and bringing in all this heat. <laughs> Which is going to make me frustrated and mad, okay? Or not even mad, but just frustrated and hot, bothered, okay? So, yeah, you, it, you, it's a must you have these boundaries. Especially when it comes to your, when you're, you're going through these cycles and you're, um, in life, okay? You must, okay? Cause you want your cycles to go smoothly. Um, like, um, everything has a cycle. Um, us women, we have cycles. Uh, shit, men do too. Okay. Um, life has cycles. Okay. All right. Dealing with the seasons. Okay. How you gonna season your meat? Okay. Through these seasons. All right. Life has its cycles. Not just with the seasons, but even with the being birthed. Okay, living life, okay, and transitioning, okay? Life has its cycles, even through your ages. Hell, it's no, it's not by coincidence they have the baby stage, they have the toddler stage, they have the teen stage, they have the adult stage, and then they have the elder. Those are cycles in our lives that we go through, all right? 
And as long as, you know, life is going to exist anyway, it's going to have its cycles. Those are the courses, okay, of life. Yeah, you, yep, you definitely want your peace. All right, you want to be able to gain your goals, okay? Reach your goals, all right? All right, everything that you have stepped forward, um, step front, in, you know, front, your uh, step forward into, okay? You want it to become your reality, especially the things that you really are hungry for, you know, hungry for, you know? Life has its courses, it has its cycles, and that's just not man-made, that's just energy regenerating and reciprocating, okay, itself over and over again, and sometimes with, and with these storms, you got to be, um, with these hurricanes, you got to get out the way, all right, of these storms. You got to make sure your peace and everything is going to be fine through these storms. Alright? Um, I think, yeah, I showed everything right. I think I showed a lot of pictures. Yeah. Yep, you got to evacuate. <laughs> All of these words. You got to evacuate. Okay? Evacuate the safety. Okay? Through these storms. That's just being so in peace in your mind, you know, just knowing everything is going to be all right, okay? What matters, no matter what happens, what take place, you're going to be fine, okay? You have to evacuate the situations, all right? See the bigger picture, okay? To see the change, all right? To see the cycle. So that hurricane is definitely feminine energy. So yeah, we was on point. I mean, the, the information was on point with that. You know what I'm saying? Even with the the hurricane part that they broke down um, in that picture, you know, it's definitely um, a good source of in information. But when it comes down to it, you know what I'm saying? It's all about that deep energy, okay, down within us, that feminine energy, right? rising okay remember everything in life has its falls so we're gonna fall into okay that feminine yeah. energy within ourselves okay the dark pulpit yeah. of self um to evaluate or evacuate okay ourselves it. to our highest peak Okay, Why is you doing makeup? Uh, I want my makeup. You you do no. See, hold up. I don't want you might you be scrubbing too hard on my makeup palettes. No. I can't do my makeup. Um. Uh, right. <laughs> but yeah, it's gonna be some more storms to come, y'all. So just stay. You know, not even just with. You know, the physical aspect, dealing with nature, um, the natural state of my, you know, the natural state, um, of nature. It's going to take place. It's going to be more. They're going to be more intense. Okay. Why? Okay. I, no, I don't want any makeup. I want my makeup. You cannot mess up my makeup. I'm telling you. You're not going to have any store money. <gasps> Jen. Oh, okay. I thought you, girl. My bad. But anyway. So, yeah. The information was, you know, it was right. You know, was nothing wrong with it. Um, but just know that this is your vortex. The vortex um, within yourself. It's the rising of your energy. Your energy circulating. Um, releasing. Getting rid of. And bringing in. Okay. All right, that breath of life, like sis was talking about, you know, that breathe in, breathe out, okay? It's all about the wind, the flow, okay, of our energy. So, definitely um, stand, uh, stand firm in your energy when you're going through these storms. You know, stand ten toes down because it's going to happen 
within us. And it's going to also happen outside of us. Okay? Because everything within <laughs> takes its place without. Controlling your breath as well. Yeah, controlling your breath as well. Control your breath. For real, for real. Control that shit. Okay? I don't need you breathing all on my neck now. <laughs> Mama, if you make up, it means I could do my make up. Oh, Lord, y'all. Y'all get y'all knees. You gonna show them what you got going on? Are you my cheeks? I'm not doing... What she know about cheeks? <laughs> okay, do my teeth. Girl. You like a little baby doll. I like cock. I like cock. You look like what? I like cock. You look cute. Huh? <laughs> I like okay. Yeah. Okay. You got it popping, girl. I like that. Okay, a movie baby doll. She <laughs> Them anxiety, anxiety attacks ain't nothing to play with. Yeah, anxiety attacks is based off, you know, triggers too. Wait, no, 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 ma'am, hold up. She says, bad, my bad, mama. I'm going to get back to this anxiety, sis. She says, my bad, mama, laughing out loud. She's destined to get better with the makeup palette. She definitely is, okay? She is not playing with it. A moving baby doll that she is, okay? She is definitely a moving baby doll. She's my life five. Barbie, okay? Um, but yeah, those anxiety, anxiety attacks um, are, you know, so trigger-based. Very trigger-based. You know, it's, it's so trigger-based. <laughs> and it can get better in time um, dealing with anxiety if you just deal with the roots. And the patterns of it, recognizing those patterns so you can control okay. that anxiety attack. Wow. Mm -hmm. I see my cake in my face. Definitely. It's triggers. Which can alter your energy, which is going to cause you to have these, these attacks. But yeah, I just wanted to, um, Lord. What's his name? Cody? That ain't Cody. What's his name? Who? I know you coloring him, but what's his name? Tommy? No, Color man. Why are you giving that baby a black eye? Oh, girl, you, you messed him up. What? <laughs> but anyway, y'all, I'm going to get up out of here because she getting a, a little too happy with my makeup right now. I'm going my makeup now. I try to get her to have her own makeup so she can mix and do what she need to do her own. Not mine. But wow. it's just because I'm not paying no attention to her so much on this live. So I'm going to get up out of here, y'all. But, yeah, just think about when these hurricanes hitting, y'all. You know, reflect on the energy that's going on, not only around you, but hey, mama, within look, yourself. Look, look, because it starts look, from mama, us. It, it starts within us. Out. We're controlling this energy. Um, we're controlling the hurricanes, you know, to form, you know, straight from the root out. So think about that when these things is hitting. All right. What type of formation is taking place, you know. What um type of energy that we're being evolving around, um, we are evolving from, okay? Even in particular places, all right? A lot of places do have a lot of old energy still settling in those uh certain states. So I can understand why they would say the ancestors, you know, that path of the, the route, okay? Yeah, a lot of places do still have old energy. That's settled in those states. All right, but that not let's not get it twisted I, though. I that energy is there for a reason. <laughs> All right, it's not even something to feel um subjective to or feel 
bad um a bad disconnect uh disconnection from it or a bad feeling from it's actually there for a reason these are like codes or puncture points um in this existence it's like that's the path okay to to rise the energy okay as Shay was saying, like the anxiety attacks, yes, those triggers. We push certain buttons just to rise that energy. We have to go down into that. All right. Thanks you. Thanks for sharing. Gratitude and appreciation. Yes, we doing it. Getting it done. Yeah, we are doing it. We control this everything. That's one thing that Tesla wanted everybody to know. That's why he didn't feel like it was fair to charge for energy when you're energy yourself. just doesn't make any sense. Why charge for something that you control? Alright. Love you too, sis. Mama, where mama at? Yeah, we got to try to fix them though. Where mama? Where? Got to fix where, them. Where yep, mama? like you were saying last night. We a power where plant. Baby? A full walking power plant. Where oh my gosh, girl. You gonna go on holiday? Mm, this is nice for Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> she don't got this baby looking crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, baby. <laughs> we are walking power plants. You got there, right? Okay. It was oh hold up, y'all. It's a picture too. I forgot. You just since you said walking power plant. I know y'all have seen this picture dealing with us. Okay. Um that uh the human body vortex okay who <laughs> feed on that baby girl i don't even know we don't know we don't know we just gonna we just gonna tell the authorities we don't know what happened to this baby i think the baby just you know playing too hard <laughs> don't hit something because we don't know we, we do that to that baby <laughs> Send it back to his rightfully owner, okay? Okay. But yeah, the human body, okay? And it's also too what you were saying too, Gwendolyn. I forgot about this picture. Um, no, you know, you talking about the, Genesis, talking about the breath, okay? What we breathe, okay? The human body breathes energy through the vortices, which is the vortex. And energy out through the anti vortices. Okay, so that vortex, that human body, our human bodies have this. Okay, it is symbolic. Okay, to that whirlpool. Okay, the cycle that goes in and goes out. That infinite energy. All right, and it starts from inside. Mm hmm. The spinning wheels, the spinning discs, even what they was talking about the chakras on here, they, they talk about the spinning, um, wheel. Well, you know, in our, um, okay. shit, y'all, my, my mind is like, <laughs> in our back, okay, we have this coming up our, um, I can't even get my damn words together. But anyway, we have this, okay? In our back, okay? And they spin too, okay? All right? The way they spin and, and connecting, okay? In our vertebrae of our back, spine. Thank you. I can't get my damn word together. I couldn't get it. I don't know why skeleton kept coming up. That's not what I wanted. But we know overall skeleton, baby. But yes, thank you. The spine. We have um spinning discs, okay? We do. We have this in our in our spine. And they do operate just the same. Okay? It starts from the bottom all the way up. So it naturally happens. Okay? It naturally happens. But yeah. So yeah, that's just my take on it. Um, well, my new perspective on the hurricane, which we already know is this feminine energy anyway, but just showing how that cycle, the courses take place, um, and.
inside out something, mama. It's nobody. Ain't nobody out there. Inside out. Don't we get energy from the solar plexus too? Yeah, we do. We do. Dealing with the wounds? Hell yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's all in the, you know, down by in the uh the lower area of the spine too. Mm-hmm. And that same, you know, well, front and back. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, the wound, we definitely get energy from the solar, the solar plexus. And we also release energy out of our solar plexus. I got your makeup. Now, is your makeup. You know what I'm saying, Mama? Huh? Is your makeup. You know what I'm I don't want no makeup right now around the belly button area. Okay. Hey. Don't, ain't, don't that, uh, ain't that, uh, umbilical cord um, now that I'm sitting here thinking about it ain't it um symbolic to the vortex to the hurricane okay the circulation of the of the blood circulation okay because you got one end to the other side even with that um the rising of the cool and that snake right you have two sides to it okay or plug yeah when we in the womb okay all right, that that belly button is plugged to the set inside the set, which is connected to us. Okay, the woman, you know, which is definitely connecting it to the energy. All right, connecting it to that energy. All right, instead of like rise up, but to grow. Okay, to maintain the energy being carried in the womb. All right. Also, eat through that mug. Through um, the babies, also the well, the fetal also eats through the umbilical umbilical cord. Hail to the year. Uh, oh, you wiping his face? Okay. So hell yeah. So it happens. It, it, it that definitely we definitely get our source of energy from there too. Kind of like a mouth, like a mouth to them. Mm -hmm. Now, me, can you help? Why do you think the womb is so, so, um, so important? You know, not just, you know, that's just, I mean, of course, dealing with females, but why do you think the womb is so important? That's what we carry. That's what we, what, everything we eat, okay, goes to, all right, is definitely just like the mouth. Even with the umbilical cord being connected to the baby, okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, your energy, all right. Being connected to that energy. I know when I had JC Young, uh, when he, um, in my delivery, when I had to deliver JC Young, I had a cesarean. And when I had the cesarean, you know, they, um, they numb you all the way down. Okay. You be numb from the wound. Okay. Which is where the solar plexus and all of that is at. Your sacral is that you be. Um, numb from the wound down, right? You can't move. So when I had his, uh, had a cesarean with him, when they cut me open, of course, and got him out, and him being, a, uh, detached from the umbilical cord, I felt all of that. And it felt like a major energy transfer. It's like I felt my soul leave my body. That type of energy. Oh, yeah. It's definitely important. And it, that, and it definitely makes sense about the energy from the solar plexus. Did you, sis? Did I what? So it looks like you on the cross from when I saw my son delivered. 
Ooh. Ooh. See, I was going to save this for a session. <laughs> but look at here. Y'all, y'all must be tapping in my mind, too. Check it out. But Ashley, tell me what you're talking about, though, too. Check this out, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, If I definitely felt that, you know. I felt my soul leave my body. It was that transfer of energy. Yeah, you know. My son, our children, is just an ascension of our light. So definitely felt that. All right, looks like you on the cross from when I saw my son earlier. Okay, the other right now. Okay, then. Yep, look at that. Look at the the cross with the woman on the on the uh, uterus. I would say this is more. <sighs> I'm not gonna say take away from the uh, the cross because we 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 nail ourselves to the cross. Okay. We definitely do. But when it comes to creation in the womb, women are literally in a, a state of transitioning, okay? Being nailed to the cross to be reborn again. You're pushing out your, the same energy and it's being reborn. I seen this shit a couple of weeks, about a week or two ago, and I was going to save it for, which I probably still will anyway, but I was going to say, I was saving it for um, the symbolism class. Um, another one, a piece of yourself. Yeah, a piece of yourself. Mm-hmm. A piece of yourself, literally. Just like they say that we are all a piece of God. We all have a piece of God in us. Yeah, literally a piece of yourself. Why she going right there? Let me hit my ear right quick. Why she in the big? Away from me. But I seen this and I was like, man, are you... <sighs> and this makes so much sense. My bad, the energy just falling sometimes. You good, girl. I'm, I ain't doing nothing. I'm sitting here chilling with vibing with y'all. You are good. But look at this, too. I had to go back. When I gained that picture, I had to go back to this. And I'm going to show another one, too, after this. I still think the aunt look like a mirror, too. <laughs> <laughs> just like a hand mirror you looking at yourself right but I understand you know seeing it from this perspective dealing with um, the womb um, and how they got it looking comparing it to the uh, uterus girl no we need to find us some aunt shaped mirrors. <laughs> if I got to create them bees myself, we need them. Okay. <laughs> I know somebody don't create them. I know somebody got about them. I'm going to have to look it up. But yeah, look at that. It makes so much sense with Sophia, the energy Sophia having, um, uh, not Sophia, but, um, uh, what is the, uh, not Sophia. It's a Eurisha, uh, goddess. Um, oh my goodness, I can't think of her name. The one in yellow. Uh, what is her name, y'all? Help me out. Not Sophia, though, but hey, it's still, it's still a representation of Sophia. But, <laughs> um... Oh, I cannot think of her name. But it makes so much sense why she carries a mirror. Why there's an Oshun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sis. It makes so much sense why Oshun has a mirror. Okay? Not only are you looking at the reflection of yourself in the mirror, but you're also birthing your reflection. That's another way of looking at it, too. All right? And Oshun deals with the love 
energy. Okay? Of getting back to you. All right? The self, all of that self-love, all of that self thing, you know, that deals with self. That yellow is going to be your light. It's going to be what you project out. It's going to be what you carry. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Your, your reality, your, your consciousness, okay, the light of it. Definitely, definitely. That's why a lot of people who who use the Oshu name, they didn't understand it. <laughs> you know, they were speaking so much over themselves that it, it was going to make them see some shit. Okay? It was going to make them see all kind of shit that they needed to see with themselves. And they thought this Oshu image was going to be something different. But it was making you see what you needed to see about yourself. Because Oshu energy is all about reflection. It's all about what you going to birth. Okay, the light you carry. But yeah, you gotta see from the inside in the feminine energy. You gotta see from the inside. Alright? You gotta see. She was gonna stay. Damn, I'm taking my time. I'm just gonna get this over here. Can't do that right there. But you it's definitely you definitely gotta see from the inside in the feminine energy. And the outside from the masculine, that's why it's outside. Okay. You got to see inside out. You definitely do. You definitely do. Alright. You definitely do. And the key of seeing inside the feminine energy is not really just so much dealing with the light. Because trust, it's so many people out here that are blind. They're walking in darkness, as we say. Okay? They're walking in darkness. They can't see the light. All right, but they can feel the projections, okay, of the light. All right, and that's how you have to be in your dark. All right, it's not about seeing with these two eyes right here, it's about seeing with the spiritual eye. Yep, even in the physical, even in the physical. Because these two motherfuckers can be tricky. Okay? They can be tricky as hell. And it's only going to give you the illusion of what you set out for. What you were seeing. Through your projector. Your first eye. Alright? So... When I was seeing this and I was like realizing like, oh man, when I seen this shit, I was like, yo, this right here is, <laughs> it makes so much sense. Okay. It makes so much sense. I mean, I understand the onk, okay. On a whole nother other level, but it makes so much sense. It makes so much sense. And when I mean that this world is so, <laughs> they don't want to hear it feminized because it started from that energy. Here's another, another symbol dealing with the womb, dealing with the uterus. They speak about this a lot in church too. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. It's the uh the Holy Grail. Okay. No, no, no. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I, want. I, I, I don't want I'm still talking. I want you to be Okay, can I see? I need to see. Okay. But anyway. It's the Holy Grail that they speak about so much in the Bible, um, in a lot of uh, Christian and religion, and, you know, the cup that fills, okay? okay? Filling your own cup, all right? 
it's still referencing to this uterus, this womb, okay? Not just with the, the female, but just with the overall energy being carried, okay? Okay, Jen, okay, let me see. Okay. Can I see how I look? Yeah, okay. Why is this wet? Oh. <laughs> okay, blowing. <laughs> You watch me too much. Let me see. <laughs> oh, okay. She says she wants to be pretty. You want she wants you to be pretty. Right. She says she wants me to be pretty. <laughs> okay. But this feminine energy is deeper than what, you know, we thought. I mean, of course, uh, you know, a good bit of us understand the feminine energy a lot of us might you know understand it but this feminine energy is so deep it's it's like the grounder to a lot of to everything okay the grounder the grounder to everything I got you oh okay i like i like she did good no i don't need none of that now mm -mm. not that color like what you cut Maybe pink, gold, not that green though. Okay, I can see. <laughs> Sometimes I have to just, you know, let her do her thing. You have to. You have to let kids sometimes do their thing. It's part about. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah. Building up, you know, building up their confidence, their imagination. Yeah. She doing good though. I mean, she watches. She watches me a lot. Okay, is that enough? Yeah, you. Okay, girl, I like it. Thank Bye. you, sis. <laughs> All right, mama. You with me? Yes, thank you. All right, mama. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Wait, show you enough. No, I don't want nothing on my lips. No, I want none of my lips. Go give me some, um, you can give me some, uh, some lip gloss. Okay, I can do it with She got my couch wet. But yeah, y'all. <laughs> this holy grail is still symbolic to us, too, you know. They talk about that a lot, too. And they try to reference it in a totally different perspective, especially in religion, but... It's all about what you carry, your womb, you know, full in your cup, all right? Overflowing, you know, overflowing um, of the cup, you know what I'm saying? And now that, well, I ain't going to talk about it, but no, not that. No, 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 what is that? No, that's not it. Mm -mm, go look at my drawer. Oh, here you go. Okay, I'm right here. Um, I ain't even gonna say nothing about it, but okay, cycle. <laughs> it's it's I'm iconic. Like, I, I mean, ironic that they have uh cups for that now. Okay, they have cups. Okay, the Holy Grail cups for the cycles. But I just um I just wanted to talk to y'all for a second because I forgot to bring mention that last night. Um, for those who didn't catch the live, just you know. That was something I brought up in the live about the hurricanes. And I didn't get to mention it. So I just wanted to actually touch on it with y'all. Because we is about to face some storms. Okay. Before this good old fall set in. And just understand how energy is moving. Um, through us. Um, and through this whole. Um, this, um, this plane. You know. Inside out. You got to understand the movement of the energy. Okay. All right, that's how you play chess. That's how you know how to move. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Two thumbs up, girl. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, don't get nothing else. Don't get nothing. Put that back. Close that back up. But yeah, you got to. You got to. Oh, Jen, no. I got my Okay. Okay, I got this on. Okay, Where your fingers been? <laughs> okay, 
I don't know her little fingers being, you know, kids. Why they fingers be that? everywhere. She tried to tell me. Okay, <laughs> you went pee. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you let her chat. Yeah. All right. When I got this live with y'all, she need to be bothering me. She gonna be somewhere else. <laughs> Mama, you went pee. You look pretty too, girl. We got our makeup done. So when Daddy come home, you see our face. Yep. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yep. Yeah. <laughs> you see the color in my face? Huh? You see the color in my face? Yeah, I see his face, girl. It is busty. Oh my god! <laughs> Daddy need to wrap my color in my. He is busted over there. What did you do to that baby? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I definitely be talking to y'all soon. Let me go ahead and get up out of here. And if y'all have anything else y'all want to bring, you know, to the table with me, you know, we want to build on something. If y'all got something else to even, you know, mention dealing with the hurricanes, let me know. Let me know. Feel me in, okay? Um, but definitely, this is her energy, your energy. Okay. Oh, oh. Because the spirit is reminding me. Even with her, the word her, there is he. And even with those two words, it means all genders. Okay? So, it just means all. The ultimate all. Um, So, her energy, all energy, okay, is that it's spin of life. Okay? It's in the cycle. And that's what these hurricanes is all about. Everything that we are uprooting, okay, shifting inside, it's going to take place outside. It's going to play itself out. Peace, sis. Peace. Okay. Jen just did me up, girl. Y'all see it? <laughs> she got me popping, okay? She just did my makeup. But, and I'm about to get off here too, so sis, you're going to have to catch the replay, baby. <laughs> But, um, yes, um, so yeah, these hurricanes, it's definitely built off all energy, so, and I can't say that enough. Anytime it's one whipping up, just know, our energy is shifting, it's evolving, it's changing, it's getting rid of, it's clean up, it's the clean up woman, okay? It's got to get down in the, um, in the yonder and get that shit up out of us, okay? Okay, Alicia Keys. Okay, I can see it, I can see it. I can see it, girl. <laughs> I can see it. But, yeah. So, um, yeah, just think about it, y'all. Just think about it. But, I'll talk to y'all later. Love, peace, and oneness. And, like I say, if y'all got anything else to say about it, let your girl know. Let me know. If I miss something, didn't touch on something, just let me know. Because, hell, I'm always enlightened. Um, open, not enlightened, but open to any dialogue, you know, especially something that's going to help evolve myself, okay, and people like you, all right, but yeah, yeah, I'm just talking now, but I'll talk to y'all later, here she comes, bye y'all. <laughs>